For Microsoft Photos, we chose WinUI 3 since it's a natural evolution of UWP. Uh, we can still use the beautiful UI controls from Windows SDK, and at the same time, we will unlock new features and new possibilities, since now Photos is a full desktop application. Having a consistent, robust, tried and true framework is important, and WPF gives us that. We see it as an obvious choice for designing a customizable, native Windows app. Visual Studio makes it easy to dive in and start a WPF project, and Camo and its capabilities are about as demanding as an app can get. WPF brings us a number of specific benefits as we build Camo. It has a rich ecosystem of third-party packages, extensions, and code. Hardware accelerated via DirectX, which means we can get great performance on old and new hardware. And as we grow the team, it's helpful that WPF experience isn't unusual in the developer community. Be My Eyes is a service that connects people who are blind or have low vision with volunteers, companies, and an AI model for visual interpretation tasks. We chose React Native Windows to build our desktop application so that we could leverage our React experience and parts of the code base of our existing React web app, but still have access to native UI components like navigation controllers so that we could ensure a really smooth, seamless, and fully accessible experience on desktop. There's two significant factors in why we chose to move to WinUI 3. One is the modernization of the XAML, um, just technology in general, the namespaces, the APIs, as well as the decoupling of the Windows app SDK from the operating system has allowed us to work with our partner Uno to provide a web application running under WASM and mobile applications on iOS and Android, all one code base, and we're getting the best of all worlds by providing native applications on each. Performance is one of the critical factors for enterprise applications, WPF, with its native code execution and hardware acceleration now through RDP as well, offers excellent performance for applications, particularly those that require high-speed data processing and complex UI renderings. While newer alternatives have made strides in this area, WPF's performance remains still a reliable choice for the enterprises. Of course, there's going to be a ton of considerations when it comes to how you want to write your app. But if you want the best possible experience on Windows, something that's really tightly integrated um, when it comes to things, at least in our example, in, in our case with File Explorer, drag and drop and integration with the shell and really good alignment with the design language of Windows 11, WinUI 3 is just a clear choice. At the time, we took a fresh look at the options we had and considered approaches with Electron, with Qt, and with using Rust and Swift. I'm really pleased that we've recommitted to C-Sharp and WPF. We've been able to move rapidly with Camera, brought a number of innovative features to Windows, and above all, we haven't been surprised. Well, maybe we've had a few surprises. ARM support was so easy that it was nearly free, and our path to supporting NPUs was easier than I anticipated. The surprises have been positive. C-Sharp and WPF are robust, mature, and well-supported we've been able to focus on building our product rather than wrestling with frameworks. It's hard to hide my enthusiasm for building under WinUI 3. I've always felt that if you can build a native application, you almost certainly should. You're going to get the best performance, you're going to have full APIs available to you, and you can code your way to any challenge presented. Couple that with the power and elegance of XAML, and literally anything is possible. So am I enthusiastic about WPF? I am. WPF is alive. Just in the .NET 8 timeframe, a very important feature has been added to WPF, which was the folder browser. But in the .NET 9 timeframe, we've already seen many, many different achievements. We have seen Hyperbase ligature support. We have seen the new Windows 11 theming. We have seen hardware acceleration for RDP. We have seen a large number of community contributions, which is big at the .NET 8 timeframe. All the different features to be able to test these contributions, to be able to have the quality of the contributions, the quality gates for that has been added. But now the line of uh, important community contributions are just coming. We have the Manage Div Write integration. We have the future trimming support, the guidelines for that. We have the setter content being adopted and many, many more. And we know about all the plans to make AI integration a first-class citizen into WPF applications as well. I love building native apps because not only does it give me great performance and a native look, 
it also lets me stand out from the competition. It's kind of like instead of building a one size fit all, you're building a custom tailored version of your app for the Windows platform. Me personally, when given the chance, I always prefer native apps over the alternative. Developing native applications for Windows is the best way to bring the ideal user experience and the integration with the OS, and also give us developers direct access to all the Windows APIs available. Building with native technology is the best path for today's features and also for tomorrow's. When new opportunities arrive to integrate, such as with Copilot or NPU acceleration, it's always going to be easier native. The underlying complexity of driving a diverse set of neural processing units is too great to imagine being manageable with a non-native solution. Microsoft are investing heavily in the Windows user experience, and we're confident that by riding WPF and C-sharp, our apps will be brought along with that.